Jack Link's Jerky presents Snacking with Sasquatch. <laughs> Feed your wild side. Back house at Minglewood Hall as we welcome you back and we get you set for a band of weight division battle. Here comes Johnny Oswald from Oakland, Tennessee, fighting for Team Havoc MMA. We got a couple of fighters fighting for the first time for B3. So they are looking to put on a show in their debut. It's Oswald and Hunter Joffrey. What do you know about Johnny Oswald, Rick McCracken? Johnny Oswald is a tough, tough fighter from Team Havoc. He's been cross-training over at Premier Martial Arts. He's been working on his takedown defense. He's mostly a stand-up fighter, but he's gonna be very tested versus Hunter Joffrey. Johnny Oswald from Oakland, Tennessee, which is a suburb of Memphis, and we'll be going up against a fellow local product in Hunter Joffrey. There you see Crystal Morrow making sure the fighter's ready, greasing him up, and here he comes, making his way inside the cage. Johnny Oswald, feeling the ground beneath him. The music will change in just a moment, and we'll get ready to find out jo about Johnny Oswald's opponent. Mr. DJ, spin us a new tune, he does, and here comes from Memphis Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, local product, Hunter Joffrey. And this one should be fun. Two guys, as I said, looking to make their debut a successful one. Tell us about Hunter Joffrey. Hunter Joffrey's base is wrestling. He wrestled here at Y Station High School. Tough, tough wrestler. His uh, teammates, training partners, Jesse Parker and Brian the Law Hall. So you know his ground is gonna be absolutely solid. This is gonna be a contrasting style fight. Joffrey, all's luck. We're gonna see what happens, Greg. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Game Changer Clothing. Johnny Oswald and Hunter Joffrey. First of all, Oswald on your left, one and one. He's 20 years of age, 5'10", and a stand-up fighter. Tipped the scales yesterday at the official weigh-in at 136. Meanwhile, Joffrey, a perfect 2-0. and He's 18 years of age. Gives away three inches in height to his opponent. A Spartan style. He calls it Spartan. It's Greco-Roman. He's a very good wrestler, and he tipped the scales at 134. Oswald, Joffrey, the light's down for a moment, but they'll pop up, there they go. And now let's go to our cage announcer, Michael Kelly, with the official introduction of these two warriors. B3 Legion, this opening bout is brought to you by Game Changer Clothing. It is set for three, three minute rounds in the Benham weight division. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action, your referee will be Matt Thomas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the white trunks with the black trim. At five feet, 10 inches, he weighed in at 136 pounds. A stand-up fighter with an MMA record of one win and one loss. Representing Havoc MMA and fighting out of Oakland, Tennessee, welcome Johnny Oswald! <laughs> and across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks with white trim. At 5 feet 7 inches, he weighed in at 134 pounds. A Greco-Roman fighter with a perfect MMA record. Two wins, no losses. Representing Memphis BJJ and fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee, welcome Hunter Joffrey! And Matt Thomas will gather the two warriors to the center of the cage. Fighters to the middle. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules. We went over the rules in the back. If you get a submission, don't let go until I make you let go. Is there any questions? Any questions? Tap them up, go to your corner. Thank you very much, Matt Thomas. Three judges for this bout, Tony Martin, Kevin Haynes, and John Eaton. The fans, they are eager. They want to get some excitement right off the bat, and that's what Oswald and Joffrey are trying to provide. Three three-round battles if it goes that far. Round one, and here we go. Oswald, Joffrey. And quickly a takedown by Joffrey. We knew Joffrey was going to come in and try to shoot right away, so... And that's exactly what he did. 
Again, he's a very experienced wrestler, Greco-Roman. He calls it Spartan. Well, that's probably just a mix of some contrasting style together, but, you know, he's showing total domination right now on top of Oswald. Well, Oswald was trying to prevent this from going down to the ground, and he's in a lot of trouble here early in this match. Right in front of us. Travis got it. He's got a head triangle right now. Oh, he's tapped. He's tapped. It's over. Wow, how quick was that? <laughs> wow. What I'll tell you what, Joffrey. What performance by Hunter Joffrey. Oh, yeah. Joffrey came in, and he did exactly what he wanted to do. He wanted to set up the takedown, shot in, got a great takedown, put him straight on his back. He was going for that full mount, but then what he was doing is setting up that triangle, that arm triangle, popped over the other side, and just went in for the submission. Joffrey teammates and training partners with fellow Bantamweights Jesse Parker, Brian the Law Hall. He has that experience. He's trained by Jason McDonald and Nathan Pang. And what fireworks by Joffrey as he improves the 3-0. Rick will make his way inside the cage. We'll get a few words from our winner. Again, the V3 debuts for both Oswald and Joffrey and a much more impressive one for Hunter Joffrey who improves the 3-0. Meanwhile, it's back to the drawing board for Johnny Oswald who falls to one and two. He certainly wanted to keep this fight standing and try to pound his opponent, but Joffrey wanted to get it down to the ground and he was very successful in doing so. The two good sportsmanship afterwards and right now Oswald's trying to figure out how do I prevent that? You saw the lightning speed from Joffrey able to get him down in a quick fashion. Let's get the official time of the submission victory for Hunter Joffrey as we go to Michael Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, here in the Peter Cage and Nick Lloyd Hall, we present the official time of 41 seconds in round number one. Referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Matt Thomas calls the final time of 41 seconds. All smiles for the young man who's just 18 years of age. He improves to 3-0, does it in 41 seconds, and now R. Rick McCracken, a few words with Hunter Joffrey. Hunter Joffrey, everybody. Give it up for him. First fight of the night, man. And it ended pretty quick. How long have you been ready for that to be over, man? Uh, I'm not sure, man. You got that sweet take down. How's the wrestling? You want to go for a white station, correct? Uh, When you shot him, you took him down right away. Looked like you established dominant position. You're going for that full mount, and then you come off, jump to the side. You got that head and arm, and it was over. Sir, uh, I want to thank specifically Joel uh, Gendry and Alex Meadows for that show. Thank you. Uh, Memphis Gym, you did too. Everybody, first one tonight, get up for your winner, Hunter Joffrey. Thank you very much, Rick. Keep uh, an eye on that name, Hunter Joffrey who's 3-0 in his young career. Take a break, come back with more exciting action from Minglewood Hall right after this.